Introducing the Striders, Minecraft's newest mobs found in the nether. These beasts are capable of walking on lava and apparently on top of each other. Little baby! <laughs> Plus another new block to help you in finding your way around the depths of the nether. All in today's snapshot, 20W13A for Minecraft 1.16's nether update. We start with the new mob, the Strider. It's that gorgeous little thing you were looking at right over there. Mm-hmm. They walk faster on lava. Look at you. Well, I mean, if you could walk for me right now, you're kind of embarrassing me. I'm trying to do a showcase here. Really? You're gonna give me attitude? Maybe we'll give him a little punch. Yeah, look at the speed on which this guy moves. A lot more sl slowly when it comes to walking on regular old ground. But if he were to go in the lava, get in there! Poor little friendly. He walks literally on top of the lava. Slows down once he's not on lava. But hey, this guy is going to be very useful. Why? Well, it's definitely not for their drops because currently the only thing they drop is string. Anywhere from what appears to be three string for that drop, three string for that drop. Don't try and run. Ah, three string. So not remarkably useful drop wise. However, they are useful for getting around because you can attach a saddle to your strider friends. And guess what? You can ride them. Ah ha ha! Yo! Oh my gosh. He looks so happy to be, uh, what, showcasing me? Uh, carrying me? I don't know, just, just work with me. Now unfortunately, when you stand on this guy, he doesn't actually do much of anything. You know, you can punch him once and then get on him and then he starts to move around and boy, is he happy about that. <laughs> Um, now I'm, now I'm stuck. Well, there's a solution for this. Oh, oh, please, please don't kill me, please, please. <sighs> well, at least we've got the respawn anchor. It takes me right back to the nether. That was in last snapshot. You can get these guys to cooperate using warped fungus. So, start heading to the warped forest and grabbing a whole bunch of these. Because one, you can use them to make them breed. Oh, I don't know if I want to, oh. Advancement made. Oh, little baby. But more importantly, you can also use them to direct the strider's movement. How? Well, you can use them with a warped fungus on a stick. Yes, that's right. Carrot on the stick, move out of the way. You'll need a fishing rod, and you'll also need to grab yourself a warped fungus. Place them like this to get your warped fungus on a stick. From there, grab yourself a saddle, saddle up, and then hold your warped fungus on a stick, and you are on the move. Now again, it's remarkably slow moving when you are on land, but the moment you hit the lava, oh baby, you take off. I, well, I mean, kind of. It's 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 still fairly slow to be on. Hey, I got my netherite sword. I didn't even notice that. But you can again give them a little bit of a power boost by right clicking with your warped fungus on a stick. Oh boy, I'm literally being overloaded right now. They all want some of this. Look at you. <laughs> Guys, 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 stop crowding me, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just keep right clicking. Yeah, you actually go pretty fast. So this is apparently Mojang's answer to getting us uh, another boat. This is apparently another boat, except in different form. Hey, I'll take it. He's adorable. Or she, or it. Anyways. Next up is the Lodestone, a brand new block. And you're gonna wanna be digging deep in the depths of the nether in order to make this thing, because it's gonna require a netherite ingot as well as eight chiseled stone bricks. Place them in a crafting table as seen here, and you can get yourself a nice new lodestone. You can place it in the nether, you can place it in the end, you can place it in the overall, but most importantly, if you right click it with a compass, you can turn it into, you all ready? a lodestone compass. And apparently you can turn all of your compasses at once into this lodestone compass if they happen to be stacked on top of each other. Now this compass will point to wherever the lodestone is at all. And you can even change which lodestone it points to. So as you can see here, when we walk around, it is constantly pointing to the lodestone that we just linked to. If we were to change it to this one, instantly switches to pointing to that one or to that one, that one, that one, that one. Now what's really cool is that you can also do this in the overworld, which we'll do right now as we discuss number three. Changes to farmer villagers. Namely, they're a lot more friendly. While we're headed up this ladder, I wanted to let you guys know about my brand new channel I launched today known as Dungeon Crawlers. It's for Minecraft's latest game, Minecraft Dungeons, that came out today. The first video on that channel is already live, so make sure you check out the link in the description of today's video and go subscribe to that new channel right now for all upcoming Minecraft Dungeons 
footage, gameplay, highlights, and more. And with that, we're at the top of this ladder. Let's check out these farmers. All right, before we go any further, allow me to show you what I was talking about with the lodestone. So right now, our compass is going mad because it's still linked to one in the nether. But again, right-clicking it here, we'll link it to this new one. So now you have the ability to more easily control where your compass is pointing to at all times, which in my opinion makes it way more useful. Curious though, can you have multiple different lodestone compasses that each point to a different lodestone? Hold on, let's see. <gasps> no way. Look at my hotbar down there. They're all pointing in different directions. So now you can have a compass that points to any specific lodestone you want and you can have multiples of them all at once. Huh, farmer village? Right, right. So number three here. We're gonna summon in a farmer villager so he can show you the changes in their behavior. Namely, they'll now put seeds in composters. So we got a whole mess of seeds right here. We also have bone meal and wheat. That's because farmers will now also use bone meal to grow crops, and they'll also share wheat with one another so that more farmers can make bread. Hey, where are you going? Hey, we got work to do. Just spawn in a couple more. So you can take those seeds. Okay, well, one of you will, huh? You can take the seeds. You can take the bone meal. Yo, wow, greedy, wants it all. Okay, how about this? Are you guys gonna share with one another? If we're lucky, we may see them communicate with one another and actually throw wheat to one another as well. It looks like they're currently bartering. Uh-oh, it doesn't appear as though they reached any sort of agreement. I'm gonna break some of these seeds so we can see if this farmer villager begins the planting process on his own. Looks like they're too busy trying to collect the seeds I'm breaking. With any luck though, we should see them start to talk to each other anything at all it literally happened earlier if you guys could just trade some wheat to one another please maybe we'll give you some more right do you think yeah okay so that single farmer is controlling all of the wheat oh yeah see he just threw it i don't know if you guys caught it or not i swear he just threw it <laughs> guys you just gotta work with me anyways the reason this is important is because farmer villagers have been broken for a long time and now the fact that they're able to communicate with one another as well as transfer goods to one another means that a lot of the bugs that people were complaining about have now been fixed good job guys can i have some wheat oh rude look at them they're gossiping about me as if i wasn't right behind them come on all right let's head back to the nether for now Number four on our list today is changes to basalt. You can now form it when lava flows over soul soil when next to blue ice. Yes, very specific. It's essentially a new form of cobblestone generator that requires soul soil and blue ice and, of course, lava. So we've got a lava bucket right here. Allow me to explain. Placing lava on top of this blue ice and then allowing it to travel over the soul soil will award you with some very interesting behavior. Behold! Instantly... We've got some basalt down here, and the way we've set up this farm, we can mine that and attempt to begin collecting this. And because lava flows a lot more quickly in the nether, we can essentially just hold this down. Now, again, you'd be better off placing a hopper underneath here instead. In fact, here, allow me to do some honors. Okay, never mind. I just tried it with a hopper and it didn't work doing that. So you'll have to figure out a more effective farm in order to get yourself basalt. But as you can see here, we have a nice easy way of getting new basalt blocks without really needing to worry too much. So as long as you don't mind missing a bunch of them to the lava from time to time, you do slowly collect these basalt blocks. Just make sure you've got a lot of pickaxes on hand. You're going to be burning through a lot of their durability, slowly collecting this stuff. But hey, now that you've got the ability to make basalt, you now also have the ability to make an infinite amount of polished basalt, which also came out in the last snapshot. So go at it with your decorative blocks. Number five, changes to the respawn anchor block. See, this one's empty. Well, now you can refill it using glowstone and a dispenser. Press the button, slowly fill up with every single opportunity you can. Number six, changes to nether gold texture. This is the old texture. This is the new texture. The gold is a little bit more apparent. Again, new right here, old to the left of us here. So take it all in. And shouts out to Jappa, Jasper for making these awesome textures. You're doing great, dude. Number seven, changes to piglin bartering. <laughs> Once again, we got a couple stacks of gold here and we got a whole mess of piggies and they all want my ingots. So we're going to go ahead and drop them one stack. See what the new trades look like with one stack worth of gold. Yes, give it to me. All of you. Delicious trades. Well, there's a lot of fire charges on that one. So for one stack of gold ingots, here is everything we got. 33 fire charges, a bunch of soul sand, magma cream, plenty of string. 
now we've got striders that drop them too. How about three stacks? Wow, well, three stacks completely filled up our inventory, so we may have even missed some because I was in creative mode. Needless to say, start collecting that gold, especially because it looks prettier now. But back to our friends, the Striders. I wanted to test the speed at which they can move on lava. So currently, we've got ourselves a Splash Potion of Fire Resistance alongside some Netherite Boots with Depth Strider 3. And what we're going to test is how long it takes for us to hit those gravel blocks you see over there. There's going to be a timer on screen the moment flames hit my body. So with that, we can begin. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Let's see. We can just, uh, you know? With the power of editing, we missed most of that. And boom, that's it. Final time on screen. Now, we can compare with the Strider. Away we go! Yeah, a lot faster. But we'll see you in a second. And time, just like that. Fantastic, okay. But now, the real test. Y'all ready for this? Our third and final test. We're gonna use this warp fungus on a stick with the right click feature. Now look at the speed at which we are making it over there. In fact, I don't even need to pause. You can see how much faster that was. Boom! Just like that, we are instantly set. So now you've got a very easy way to traverse across all of the nether that you can find, or <laughs> rather all of the lava that you can find all over the nether. Uh, perfect. Uh, I'd say a little friendlier than boats as well. Oh gosh, okay, well you're still not immune to fire. Guys, let us know which feature of today's snapshot was your favorite in the comment section below. And again, don't forget to check out our brand new dungeon crawlers channel for Minecraft Dungeons. Meanwhile, you can subscribe to this channel for future snapshot videos right as those snapshots come out. We'll see you later.